Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, in a cottage near a vast forest, there lived a poor woodcutter. His wife and his two children. The boy was called Hansel and the girl Gretel. At the best of times, the family had precious little to live on. But now there was a great famine in the land and food was scarcer than ever. The woodcutter's wife was worried there wouldn't be enough for her. Those wretched children of yours are gobbling everything up, she said to her husband. Do you want your pretty little wife to waste away? Something will have to be done. Yes, my dearest, said the poor woodcutter, who was afraid of his wife's ferocious temper. She doesn't like us, said Gretel. Yes, she does, said Hansel, but he didn't mean it. One night, when the woodcutter was tossing and turning and worrying about how to feed his family, his wife revealed a plan. Listen to this, she whispered in her husband's ear. We will take the children into the woods, give them a bit of bread, and leave them there. Never, cried the woodcutter. But his wife badgered and badgered. My poor children, cried the woodcutter. I know what's best, you dolt, said his wife. Oh dear, whispered Gretel. Don't worry, said Hansel. I'll take care of us. And slipping out into the moonlit night, he gathered up as many white pebbles as he could find. What are you doing, said Gretel. You'll see, said Hansel. Up, you lazy bones, cried the woodcutter's wife early the next morning. It's time to go to the forest to fetch wood. And she gave Hansel and Gretel a crust of bread. Save it for lunch. It's all you'll get. The family set off. In a short while, Hansel stopped and turned around. Soon, he did it again. Why are you lagging behind, Hansel? asked his father. I'm looking back at my white kitten on the roof, said Hansel. You donkey, snapped the woodcutter's wife. That's not your kitten. That's the morning sun on the chimney. They entered the vast forest. In the middle of the forest, Hansel and Gretel were told to build a fire of brushwood and to wait. We'll return soon, said the woodcutter's wife. And the children were left all alone. They heard the sound of an axe chopping wood, and they thought their father must be nearby. But it was really a bough he had tied to a dead tree, being blown about by the wind. At midday, they ate their bread and waited patiently. The afternoon slowly passed, but no one came. Finally, the children closed their eyes and went to sleep. When they awoke, 